Was Paul wrong in his passionate concern? It seems reasonable that Paul, who was inspired of the Holy Spirit to provide the definitive teaching concerning foreknowledge, election, predestination, sovereignty, and salvation by grace through faith, would know these subjects even better than Calvin. Could Paul have been wrong in his continual agony for the salvation of Israel and indeed of all men? Yet, if God himself, as Calvin sincerely believed, is not concerned over the lost, and how could he be, having predestined their eternal torment, then we must conclude that Paul was badly out of touch with the Holy Spirit for being in continual, prayerful distress for the salvation of the Jews. Paul misunderstood the scriptures which he was inspired to write. But Calvin interpreted them correctly. Paul confesses, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Romans 10, verse 1. Surely he cannot be praying for Calvin's elect, for their salvation has been predestined from eternity past. Irresistible grace will make certain they are saved, so there is no need to pray for them. And how could Paul dare to express deep concern for those whom God, in his sovereignty, has willed to be damned, and for whom God has no concern, and Christ did not die, if that were indeed the case? It is troubling that we hear no concern from Calvinists that so many will spend eternity in hell. That attitude, however, is perfectly consistent with their beliefs. Why should one be disappointed at that which is God's sovereign good pleasure? And wouldn't it be rebellion to be concerned for the salvation of those whom God refuses to save?'